Okay, back with the March of the Dead. Yeah. Drop down dead. Okay. Uh, all the enemies have been defeated. Our mission was to flag these creature production sites, and that's what we're at the moment focused. I don't think we need any additional unit production sites. Uh, additional money is always good. Cage of the Warlords is always good. Might as well build the uh, major, major skills too. Not like they'll make uh, any kind of a real difference, but... Be something 30 levels above 30, but when you reach 20, the if getting levels uh, slows down quite a bit. So these guys probably are not gonna get anything out of this. Risa could use uh, at least one level. These are more of a Quite a few fights get the level up trees, and that'll do it. Same with this. Same with this. Around 50,000 experience would be great for everyone. These guys have 2,000 here. That's the, that's the basic problem with these. You come across a camp of gnoll marauders with mining equipment. Upon seeing such a powerful hero, they jump up and rush towards you. One gnoll pushes forward and asks, Can you get rid of the water elementals who have taken over our mine? If you do, we will join your ranks. What? What water element? Ah. Legion of water elementals. Legion! Okay, we've had a lot of fun fighting legions of something. That's, uh, legions are counted uh, in the top 1000 plus range, I think. So, that could be quite a large variety of numbers right there. But it's a reason to mass our forces, these ones. Water elementals. There could be ice elementals there. That's a problem. Uh, anyway, you are a loser, hero. Yes, you are. You don't even have a spell book. <sighs> yeah, let's take a look around. Sulfur and creature dens. Uh, everyone sh is going to take part in the exploration bit. We need to find every single fightable place here, so that in its own will take some time. Yeah, this is got kind of quite a massive army. This might be exactly what we need to encounter a legion of something. Uh, I would wish for a better spellcaster. Forgetfulness, okay, that's good to have. If they have ice elementals, they don't have many stats. Third artillery. What can we produce? I'd like him to have the artillery. 
very good at with it, so it's a shame he doesn't have it. What are we missing? Ah, uh, we've just built something here, that's why we can't build anything else. Um, I think we're going to go... This is not... Maybe this is not against the water levels, I'm, I'm not sure. That we lack money, what a surprise. Anything we can do? Anything? Guess we could go after the Dread Knights, but what's the point? Why not? Something to do. Level ups to gain. That sort of thing. Got to keep busy. Get the new spells. Uh, yeah. I, yeah, um, I'd like to get some of these units with us. It, they are serious opponents. We are an okay spellcaster, I think we can manage that. How about you? Not have one thousand go. One way entrance. Might as well clear out the garrisons. Plus one level. Yeah, we're not getting anything from these anymore. Two way monolith. Yeah, we have no trouble here. We have such a high, such high stats that we can just slaughter these. Suffer minor casualties, but nothing serious. Uh, 
No, nothing here. I don't think the major skill will produce anything interesting, so it's not really really even worth bothering to check. Just in case they are want them want our guys to have them. I have to build forts to build the cage of warlords. That's a plus one to your things permanently. Hydra bond, lots of ghost dragons, so. I'm definitely going to go there, not just quite yet. I was supposed to do this with other heroes on the dive. Okay, what I'm going to do... Uh, I need to find some guy who I can dump all, all of this on. We don't really, do really need to upgrade much at this point, so we can just quite happily turn turn things into gold. Yeah, fifty-five. The upgrade only costs 1100. Extremely cheap to buy the upgrade building and extremely cheap to upgrade. Mm, so, any action to be had here? Mm, stats, upgrades. I'm not going to bother with the Legion of Water Elementals quite yet. Although, one of the better heroes to be here too. Yeah. Maybe we can consolidate our forces here and then handle that. Just share the army with the lesser experience. So. Uh, you can go there and wait. You know, this army is pretty bad. What? 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 It should do. If we reinforce it a little bit, it should do. Uh, I don't want to waste too much time anymore upgrading the cities. It won't need too much. Yeah, 
Adrian is going to be the hero probably doing the fighting. Expert air, expert fire. Uh, we can use blind, things like that. Berserk, so. I don't think our armies are all that compatible though. Yeah, this is fully upgraded units, at least mostly. These have barely any upgrades, so if we want to combine anything, they have to be upgraded. How much do we have anything? I think we'll take the archers to up upgrade them before going. We're looking at a very, very tough target, but they're also mostly melee users, so range combat. Anything else? Yeah, more range combat users. Jesus Christ, this is a massive army again. Ah, uh, you can't go there. Yeah, 426 dragon blocks, 71 wyvern monarchs, 572 lizard warriors, so we have a legion of our own. It, it won't be much of a fight. It, it's just one. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of switching around. Okay. Let's have our little legion fight. This should not be nearly as interesting as the previous one. It should be doable. In this ravine, the stench of undead is gone. All traces of unnatural horrors are wiped away as if they have never been here. Who knows, maybe they missed this area by accident. If so, it is a boon to all living creatures here. Fear of attack washes away, floating downstream like yesterday's garbage. Breathing a sigh of relief, you continue to carefully pick your way along the river. For once, it is calm. Got the Legion of Water Elementals here. Yeah, there's only a thousand of them. Exactly a thousand. That, I think that might be the minimum for a Legion. Uh, I'm not sure about that. They're not gonna be a problem. Uh, we're... I think Berserk won't work. It's good to know. How about the line? We'll affect new one. Okay. How about Deacon's Eyes? We'll affect new one. Okay. That's interesting. Precision! Yeah, we are not in any kind of trouble. We have more units in our stacks than they have in theirs, so. Casualties, sure. Real trouble. I think we'll haste our own units the next time. That stack is dead.
uh, they just... They just can't handle this. And now we're free to attack both of the stacks. So they'll be going down fairly quickly. Not much of a fight. The armies we have are simply too, too big. I have fought this fight with the crappy hero though. That might have been more interesting. You know, I wish I would be doing that. Because it'll save me a lot of trouble. I don't have to do this kind of uh, leveling crap with this hero. It's just totally unnecessary. And we switch the armies around. A single fight will achieve the same as uh, dozens and dozens and dozens of small, meaningless fights. And we're broke. Saki hero gets to fight. Nice pathfinding. This time it should be a little bit different. We, our stats are very bad. But still, I, I don't think we'll encounter a lot of trouble. But our casualty numbers will just go. We don't even have a spell book, that's lovely. Stack down, yeah, it won't make too much of a difference. We are getting quite a lot more casualties. Our defensive value is 2 instead of uh, the several dozens. Uh, 30,000 experience. Expert pathfinding. Overlords are capable casters, uh, I think basic wisdom is warranted. Fast tactics, expert logistics, fast wisdom. Um, basic, no, I'll take expert tactics, basic offense, fast offense. Expert offense. Expert wisdom. And yeah. So much easier. So an okay hero right there. 5% bonus per level, so logistic skill percentage. So it should be what, 70%? 
it's a 70% bonus, so naturally it's not all that much. But it's still combined with the pathfinding, it's a significant bonus to our movement at this point. And it will be all used. So yeah. One fight and Gunnar is useful. But we are <laughs> we have only five skills fully and nothing else. Gunnar doesn't have to fight anymore though. It doesn't make much sense. We could get But none of these guys needs to really fight at this point. Gunner needs attribute points, that's what he needs. He doesn't need to fight for that. Uh, it doesn't mean I'll leave him without an army. Mm. What do we give him? I want to get rid of these. We're gonna just trade units a bit. His army doesn't have to be huge, just has to have one. <sighs> yeah. That should be good enough. One thousand null marauders. So kill one thousand water elementals, get the one thousand nulls in their play. Why not? Why not? Korbak could use some buffing too, but Korbak is sort of in a similar situation. Korbak doesn't lack level so much as he lacks. I think I want to go with defense. These guys will get a ridiculously high natural defense value. To be what every hero is doing at the moment. Okay, you could use a proper force. I think we need upgrading. that interested in Hydra so we can start selling the sulfur too if we need. Okay, another very sizable army here so no matter what happens you're good to go level 5 Beastmaster Why stand? Why stand? Why stand? Probably not how you pronounce it. What the hell am I going to do with you? Yeah, you don't need to find either. I want you. I want you to defeat this garrison here. Other people can uh, people can handle the rest. Uh, yeah, we don't have any money. I'm trying to build the cage of the warlords in every town I can. I'm not going to go from town to town to collect all the 
plus one defense bonuses, but I want everyone who travels around to be able to go to the nearest town to see there's troops there to, for purchase, maybe get a little upgrade, see what spells are there, that sort of thing. So it's something little to do on the side. Yep, no spellcasting. Lovely. Not gonna make much of a difference here. I, I don't like how raids work in general. Every stack of raids reduces spell points by two, but you can see that it, it's sort of a unintuitive because if you have have a thousand of those, you would accept or at expect it to have a larger drain on the enemy spell points, but it doesn't. Does it ma matter if you have one, one thousand, ten thousand? No drain two spell points per stack. Which I think is pretty crappy. Because the re regeneration ability on this is very weak because he has only 18 hit points and low defense. But if you would have like it drains the stat, it, it, it would basically pull all the raids from one side into a, into a pool and by that pool number determine how many spell points are reduced. Not even, not even one by every raid they have because that would be ridiculously overpowered. But something like at a minimum of one per turn, no matter if you even have one. But if you would have a large number of them, you could use them as a weapon to drain magic points from an enemy. You ha would have a huge incentive to protect it from all damage, so it gets to do its job and drain spell points. It could be like one per ten raids. That would be eight spell points only, only per turn. So it's not, it wouldn't make a huge difference in a pool like this where we have 278 points, but it would still be several hundred percentage points more powerful ability than it is now. Now it's basically does nothing. It does something when there's nothing at stake. Basically, where you have very low level fighting fighters, where everyone has a, only a less than 10 of these really weak enemies, maybe 10 magic points, then, the, then it might be at least a little bit useful. So, it's not utterly useless, but it scales very badly to the point that it's, in practical terms, useless in probably 98 to 99% of all, all the time you'll play the undead. And it's a shame because it could offer instant interesting gameplay. Now oh, of course. Now they're sort of an expensive unit that mm, are easy to kill and no one gives a crap about if the enemy army has them or not. Give them the drain ability and everyone would keep an eye out for them. You would have an incentive to try to bring them into your army. Now they're more about bring them if you can't bring anything else. Actually, I prefer to bring zombies to raid. That, that should steal something. Skeletons are fairly fast and they're weak, but they hit hard. Or a uh, 
enemy of that level and you can constantly get more and more and more of them. So they're an okay. One of the more better ones from the weaker tiers. I guess they're the third raids are the third tier you need. Second and third tier are usually something sort of a... The game doesn't do all that well. Yeah, here there's no problem. Good, 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 good. Everything is good for some. Hydras aren't the... They are... They are a terrible attack unit, but... If you have a few Hydras sitting in a castle... They're a fairly big obstacle for some some five mass. Surprisingly enough. You think they wouldn't be, because you don't really see them used all that much often. So you, it's easy to underestimate them. And suddenly you see something like 20 of them in a stack. And you really have very little ways dealing with them. Because if they counterattack, everyone around that is going to die. Holy crap. Library of Enlightenment and we haven't visited there with anyone. Six fifty crystals. I don't have fifty crystals. Okay, this one is coming up, uh, so that should be... Yeah, he can... she can take care of them. What to do with you? Well, you're level 10 now. So you can go to the Library of Enlightenment too. What about you? Level 5. Beastmaster, you need something, anything, action. Mm, not sure what to do with this one, I guess I should come here and distribute at least most of the forces to someone else. Below the surface, the stacks of undead grow as young creatures leave their homes each week. Several dwellings of hydras are there, but the dragons cannot create more of themselves from the hydras. At least that is one bit of good news. So... I'm gonna leave a creature stack somewhere near here on flag. I'll take expert wisdom. We're not getting spells, so uh, I know that it's possibly a waste of a skill. But some of the scholars we've made might have had a level 5 spell to offer. So now if they do, we can take advantage of that. Yeah, I'm sending some competent hero to go down under the ground immediately. Someone with a massive army. doesn't really matter who it is, uh, I don't care about that. We only have one guy who needs, uh, who needs leveling up. And 
there are enough creature even creatures even on the top side to easily do that. We just need the thing to get done. And since I don't know what exactly is waiting for us down down there, we probably should do it first. At least send people to do it uh, immediately. Advanced <laughs> Ops, probably. Merlanda would be a good option. Anyone who has room to grow will do. So basically anyone will do. Expect Audrey and So who am I going to dump the equipment on? Hmm. I'm not leaving anyone without an army. Not even the one I'm basically not intending to be using. Just in case. Prices happen. Okay. Still a competent force, but. Horvath, yeah, I think you would go down. No, yeah, I'll leave that. Black there, that's easy. I can just even buy a new hero if I have to. Ooh, lots of ghost dragons. Lots of ghost dragons. Yeah, we can't do much. Slow oh, and see what happens. I think most of our army will get wiped out, but. That's not exactly a problem.
Yeah, spellcasting is not our thing. At least it's a victory. Oh god. Most of the army was slaughtered. It's yeah, it's totally the fault of a crappy hero. That, that's pretty much it. No redeeming qualities. Armor. Archer. Archer. Um, I'll take basic care. Um, haste. That would have. That's. It's a very good control of play. Here we have uh, most of the basics covered. Uh, pathfinding and uh, offense would be some of the things. Mm, we do need a uh, <laughs> reinforcement. In order to utilize the Talian resources, you must first seek the blessing of an elder. Once you have visited his tent, he will send a word, and you can gain access to the great riches held safe behind this gate. What is contained here will most certainly pay for many troops in the upcoming battles. I'll take the experience, thank you very much. The level 10 is sort of the... Good indication of is your hero any good? If it's over level 10, it probably is good. Below it, it's sort of a average as the best, probably weak. That's not always the case, but that's how it usually tends to be. We'll wait for them to come to us. Advanced logistics. Very nice. Mm, I'm not taking. I'm not upgrading these. Again, we're going down under to take the back the mines there, creature production sites. Mm, no. Gonna be basic versions, so we want our basic versions of our soldiers. Uh, I doubt it'll make much of a difference. Ooh, the army we have is most likely, at least, able of handling everything without further reinforcement. But if there are, are mute armies of ghost dragons or something like that, it might not be the case. So I'd like to be able to reinforce myself as we go. These aren't exactly bad units now, so. Even though they would become better, the difference doesn't justify it. Spell. No, we need to send someone there too, but you are going downstairs. Yep. You. 
I have no idea what you should do. Find new places where you haven't been, I guess. Hmm. Visit the university. Basic archery, yeah, that's just fine. Anything else? Anything? Anything? Moving on. So, what about you? Missing anything? Yeah, a lot of places we haven't visited, but that's it. I guess we'll run around raising stats. About you? Where have you been and haven't been? Yes, we'll run around raising stats. It won't take much time and it'll usually pay off in future missions anyway. Ah, we visited there. Let's go there. Well, so now that we have a goal and we don't have to keep adjusting to new things happening, uh, things should go quite a bit faster. No point collecting these resources then. Pathfinding, yes. Okay, that's a good skill to have. Who doesn't have Pathfinding? You have, you have, you have, you have, you have. You don't have. Biston the Beastmaster needs to come here and learn Pathfinding. And I'm not even joking about that. He needs to come here right now and learn the goddamn skill. Because if he manages to get a level up, I don't want anything to screw that up. He'll be a very good and fast moving leader at this point. Um, ah, crap. Uh, I'll have to take some other skills on the top here. Yeah, expert archery, that's fine. We have a lot of basic skills though, so it's not a problem really. Advanced tactics. Let's take advanced skills. The small fishing village has been destroyed. Only a few of the dwellings still exist and are scattered about. And they have stopped all production within the town and are laying waste to the land. People, people are huddled in, cor in corners, fearing the worst. Time to liberate Italians. Want gnolls? I'm sure, let's take gnolls. Need sight. I'm favoring knowledge because we will, I seem to be guessing a lot, quite a f very few actual damage spells, so more of a utility buff, things like that, so knowledge will be more useful.
go up with defense or go with attack? I think we will... Mm, defense. Oh, more defense. Let's have enough defense. Fast article. We're missing anything here? Not really. Moving on. Yeah, I don't really need these resources. Mm. Loon water map. And that was it. Yes. Just making sure everything's flat, everything's not flat. God damn it. Careless, careless, careless. I'll try to make best B so. We shouldn't be running into trouble. Uh, again, we had seven months uh, at the start, so quite a lot of time. We are on our third month. It's about midway, so... We have time. We have tons and tons and tons of time. Yeah, you know, gathering up more forces. Mm. I'll take Hydras. We can have too many Hydras. Fibers are good too. And dragonflies, and about a hundred new archers, maybe sixty-one basilisks, thirty-three gorgons. Now it starts to look like an army. Let's find the goddamn meat sites. One, well, it's one-way entrance. Ah, uh, that's the yellow one. Uh, that leads here somewhere. Yeah, there. Throng of bone dragons. Excellent, excellent. And some none bone dragons. Um, yes, we're going to make a few adjustments here. The main goal is to cover the archers. buffs we can do haste the archers bone dragons aren't that fast or good so we don't have to worry about them. Uh, crap. don't have to worry too much about them
not much of a fight. Expert logistics. Basic <laughs> earth or scouting. Mm. I don't like either, but. Mm. A core back with earth magic wouldn't be a bad thing. The thing is, he doesn't have wisdom, so he can never have time portal. He can have expert slew. Through on court, lots of pack. Okay, let's do it. Wait, 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 wait. I think I'll just spam this one, babe. Killed an entire lizard man. To get rid of these casters. Um. Oh, what a what a shame! Yeah, they're not gonna be able to do anything. I'm looking forward to playing with the undead. We haven't really played all that much. With them. I think. Was it one campaign in the original game? None so far in the Armageddon's Play Nick. Armageddon's Play Nick. Shadow of Death naturally probably has uh, quite a lot of undead related things. Wondering how far that will be. Because it's, uh, I think Armageddon is playing was the first expansion, so they usually tend to go harder and harder and harder and harder. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid it stops being all that fun if it goes too hard, at least all the time. I like the impossible difficulty on the whole, but I wouldn't want to play it on, on the constantly. Especially if it goes above that, then I think that's going to start causing trouble. I don't mind if it goes there a few times, but there has to be some kind of a balance that 